Do you have what it takes to land a plane? Does this game have what it takes to win another award? Sky Team by Scorpion Mask is a two-player only co-op game where you're trying to land a plane. And there's a lot going on. So let's take a look inside the box and how to play and whether or not I think this is going to win yet another award for the German Spiel Priest after it's already won the Spiel de Jar. Inside the box, you have a lot of cardboard that you're going to punch out and throw away. You also have these beautiful dice that you're going to go through and all of the cardboard themselves are double walled so you can slide the cards down between them as well as put the little pip markers on the board so that you can switch the engines and flaps on and off as well as the brakes. I thought this was actually pretty cool. However, I'm afraid I'm going to lose these really, really tiny pieces. The game also doesn't come with a bag to hold all those pieces so you're going to need to grab one but you probably already have a ton sitting around. I unfortunately threw mine away, so I need to get one from the dollar store. In Sky Team, you play the role of a pilot and a co-pilot. Each of you has a set of dice that you're going to roll at the start of your turn and place throughout it. At the beginning of your round, the two of you can discuss the plan for execution on how you're going to land, if you want to clear the runway, if you're going to descend a lot or a little, and whether or not you're going to go make coffee. Once you've finished deciding what you're going to do, there's no more talking. On your turn, there is an assortment of places you can put your die. However, you must always place in the axis and in the engines. The axis, you're going to determine the difference between the two dies and you're going to tilt the plane in the direction of the player that had the highest number. If you go too far, well, you crash. And you also have to put on the engines each turn. This is going to determine how fast your plane is going, depending if you're going to move one space, two spaces, or zero closer to the airport. If you get going too fast and without clearing the way, well, you hit some planes and uh, you crash. There's also getting out all of the landing gear, your flaps all out, your engine brakes all done, your brakes all done, or, well, you crash. However, there's only one way to win, and that's by getting to the ground and to the airport at the same time and being at a speed that your brakes can handle. Otherwise, well, you crash. And that's just the first scenario. There are 20 other scenarios I can see why this won the Spiel de Jar, and I can see why it's been nominated for the German Spiel Prix. Although I still think White Castle might pull through because this is a two player only game. In my household, we play three to four players a lot. And so I don't think it's gonna hit the table as much as I would like to. However, the price point is really good. It was only cost me about 33 Canadian dollars for this game. And there's a ton of replayability in it with all of the scenarios and the fact that it's not very easy to actually win. It is definitely a challenge. It is a gamer's game for sure. It is not easy to teach. It's kind of hard to comprehend the first time, especially once you start adding in more and more modules. It says that you shouldn't add the modules until you've successfully landed in Montreal. I definitely agree with that. It's going to take you probably a few rounds. Uh, the rounds are about 20 minutes each, so it does play nice and fast, which is good. Now I only have one more game left to find for the German Spiel Prix, and that's for Shuffle. So make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned into the channel for more content on that. And I'll be heading to Essen, so keep an eye out for more videos about that in the future. Until next time, keep gaming!